Good morning guys, Unfrequented World, and I just wanted to do a quick update today on a new product that I purchased, which is software. If you guys are longtime viewers of my channel, you know that um, I make hundreds of videos a year, and I've been using Sony, uh, used to be Sony Vegas Movie Studio, um, and it was taken over by a company called Magix. And this year, I was upset. I bought the new version 15, and there were no improvements in speed. It didn't use my high-end video card for any rendering. And I ended up returning it. Well, today, I actually reformatted my computer. It's been a year and a half, so it was time. And I said, you know what? I'm going to look for some better software that's going to utilize a Ryzen 8-core system that I'm running and a top-of-the-line 1080 GTX video card, which has, I think it's 8 gigabytes of RAM in it. The uh, Magic software, the Sony software, was not using any of that hardware acceleration. Very tiny. We were getting the same results that I was getting five years ago. I've been using that software forever. So I said, you know what? We're going to do a look online. And what I ended up settling on was PowerDirector 17. Now, the reason I settled on that was it got great reviews for speed. It seemed to have all of the same features that I had uh, with the Sony program. I would just have to learn a new program. And I'll tell you guys, within 15 minutes, I've got it all figured out. I'm just editing a 4K project right now. So the, the ultimate deciding factor, the kick in the fanny that I needed last night was I put together a two-minute video for you guys on the phone, shot it in 4K, and I wanted to show the new Samsung S9 uh, 4K quality. Should have been a quick job. Four hours later, I was still trying to render out this video using the Magix Movie Studio 14. It just kept hanging, it would freeze, it would not do it. And um, when I wanted to render it as an SXAVC file, which is a Sony proprietary codec, a two minute video was gonna take 55 minutes. And that was with uh, color grading and just overlapping of each file. There was nothing else done to it. And I thought, this is crazy. With this machine behind me, I take great pride when I build a computer to go for the best that I can get. And that was a year and a half old machine, but it's an eight core machine with an $800 freaking video card in it. And you can't render a two minute movie in under an hour? Come on. So I ended up settling on the uh, PowerDirector 365 package. They actually offer PowerDirector 17 as a standalone product, which you can buy for like $120 Canadian, which comes with some Boris effects and uh, ProDad and a few other extra color effects and things like that, some uh, new blue effects. So that's 120 bucks. But they also have the pay by the month feature. So I thought, well, what is this? I clicked on it and um, for a year subscription was $69. Then I went and looked, they had a promo code section. I looked on their website, they had 15% off. So a year subscription to the newest program with all kinds of updates, hundreds of filters, cost me $59 Canadian. And you have 30 days to try this and return it if you don't like it. I originally started with the trial download, but it won't let you do 4K videos. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to buy it and try it. No big loss. 59 bucks, right? And you have 30 days. So that's exactly what I did. And um, just to try it, I took all of my 4K clips off the phone, which I didn't realize I had 20 minutes of clips, 4K clips. I threw that in the timeline. So if two minutes would have taken Sony Vegas an hour, you know, what are we looking at? 24 hour render time for this thing if I had dumped all those clips in there? Guess how long it took PowerDirector 17 to do all 20 minutes in 4K? Now that was without effects or anything. I just dropped it in a timeline and clicked render and said, let's check out the speed. It rendered out a movie in 29 minutes. And at first I thought, ah, that was only a two minute video. Then I realized, no, I dumped all 20 minutes in there. So it did 29 minutes of Sony XAVCS format video in 29 minutes. The computer did not freeze, hiccup, glitch, nothing, which is the way it should be. So it seems now that we can render 4K video files um, almost the same speed that I was rendering uh, regular HD files in Magix Studio, Movie Studio 14. Now they do have the new version 15 out, but like I say, there was no increase in rendering times. There is a video on my channel where I compared them and spent 24 hours running tests over and over and over of a video of a certain length and comparing 14 and 15, and there was no difference. And they're charging you the same price. So I'm tired of paying that, guys. You should be too. So far, I mean, I'm only one day into using this um, 
Power Director 17, but I'm impressed, guys. It hasn't hung up. I just spent three hours editing with the program, and I'm going to edit this video on it as well. So right now, it's getting a thumbs up, guys. It has all the features that I'm used to, and um, everything's, I mean, it takes a little while when you switch programs to get used to it, but once you know a linear editor, they're all fairly close in what they can do. So check it out if you're in the mode for a new, faster program that's going to actually use the hardware in your computer. PowerDirector 17, guys. You can get the 365 uh, PowerDirector package for $59 Canadian. Thanks for watching.